All right, welcome to our brand new career mode. We are gonna be taking over Newcastle United. So right now, Newcastle in real life are 16th in the table. And there's just so much just hidden potential in this team to be like a top eight side in the Premier League. So we're gonna come in, Steve Bruce, he's gone, he's out of here. And we're gonna try to unlock that hidden potential that Newcastle has in this career mode. So I am super excited for this. So let's get started. All right, so there we are, new manager of Newcastle United. Now, first things first, let's take a look at what we have here at Newcastle. So they're playing with a 4-4-2 to start out with. This team has a lot of potential. There's a lot of players here that I really like. And I think there's a lot that we can do with this team, but I don't know if we're going to stick with this formation. I do like having like one CDM at least. All right. So I think instead we're going to run something like this, a 4-2-3-1 narrow with Hayden being the CDM, staying back, long staff and go forward. And then St. Maximin, Elmiron and Frazier being right behind Callum Wilson. I think this is our best starting 11. I think you guys think we should try another formation with this team. Make sure to leave that in the comments down below. All right. So we have 30. 7 million in the transfer budget for this first window. So they want us to sign four players to the youth academy. Not a big deal. Sign a crucial midfielder or forward. Get a streak of five wins. That is doable. Reduce player wages. Increase club worth. So they want us to finish mid table, reach around a 16 in the FA Cup, and no continental because we're not in Europe. So I would say a mid table finish is where we probably should aim this season. If we got into the top 10, that would be probably our ceiling this season, I think, because this team does need some work it does but another reason why i think we're probably going to be somewhere mid table is because in this series we have upped the slider difficulty so we're playing on ultimate with competitive mode off and these are the sliders that we're going to start out with so cpu sprint and acceleration is bumped up so cpu shot air is on seven cpu pass air is on five so yeah i think this is going to be our most challenging series yet that is what i want it to be in our other crew modes things have been pretty easy so i'm trying to make it a lot a lot more harder Am I be too hard we'll see but also goalkeeper ability is on 78 and then their first touch control is on 40 while our sliders are the same from our barcelona series i could make maybe like our pass error 55 shot error 60 we'll start with that so this might be rough and might be a very rough start but we want to be realistic we don't want to just start winning out every game so it's going to be a process of building this team up a true rebuild so now with any rebuild comes transfers so we need transfer suggestions in the comments but we're trying to be as realistic as we can in this series so keep that in mind but this is the short list that i've made some of these players have been linked currently in real life like lingard billing um o'brien brandon williams and then others are players that i have shortlisted so i don't want to go crazy in this first window i don't want to go crazy i don't think we're going to be making any huge signings in this first window i really want the first half of the season pretty much to assess this team see what we need we have a pretty good goalkeeper we have a very young good left back in lewis we're decent at right back man Keo, yedlin this team has a lot of potential there's a lot of very very good players here like both of the longstaff brothers are very good and they have some decent potential on them as well so i'm thinking for the bench we might need more of like a pacey winger because richie and hendrick are decent but i don't really see them as like backup wingers we have atsu but he's only 72 rated and he's 28 so we might look to bring in like some very young and pretty good potential wingers to start out with and also our youth academy is not off to a great start there's a lot of players here that can probably be released but we do have a five-star scout already so we're going to send him to england i don't know how big of a part our youth academy will play in this series but i do want it to be somewhat involved all right so i'm gonna put christian atsu on the transfer list he's 28 i don't really see us getting much use out of him um we'll put some of the guys on the transfer list that just aren't good enough so we have a lot of strikers callum wilson i like being our first choice joe wellington a good backup offers something different dwight gale a very good third choice as well so does that mean we sell andy carroll i'm gonna put him on the transfer list i just don't really see us getting that much use out of him but i don't think there's that many players in this team that we want to look to sell immediately if you guys think we should put anyone else on the transfer list leave that in the comments down below as well all right so Christian Atsu has been sold to PSV and we do have a decent amount of scouting reports back so I think first I'm gonna look for a winger so Reese Nelson Rafael Camacho can't sign Maruweke just yet um Reese Nelson would only be six to eight million 20 years old 72 overall he has a lot of potential on him I think potential that we can get out of him and he does 
fit what I want. Basically a backup quick winger with good dribbling, good ball control. So I think we're going to try to sign him up. All right, we're going to offer just straight up six as value. See what Arteta says. And he wants Dwight Gale. Very interesting, but I don't really want to give Dwight Gale up. Let's try 6.2. All right, 6.2, they accept. 6.2 is not that much. And I think we could possibly unlock some potential that Nelson has. So we're going to sign him up. All right, 29,000 per week. Reese Nelson is signed up our first signing of this new Castle series. It's not the biggest signing, but I do think that he has a lot of potential that we can try and unlock out of him. All right, so there he is. We're gonna give him number seven, showing great potential. I'm very excited to see what we can get out of him. All right, so I think Hendrick will go to the reserves and Nelson will go to the bench. And we probably do need to make him a left or right midfielder. So we're gonna change his position and put him on probably a right midfield development plan. All right, AS Monaco have come in for Andy Carroll. Now, this is a deal that I want to do. All right, they did not want to negotiate at all. So 4 million, let's see if he actually leaves to AS Monaco. So I don't think we're going to make too many more transfers in this episode. I really want your guys' feedback. See who you guys think we should sign in this first window. And Andy Carroll has been sold to Monaco. We have a transfer offer for Char, but I don't want to sell him. Yeah, I need your guys' feedback. Who do we sign in this first window? We want to try and be as realistic as we can. So we have 35 million. Leave a comment on who you think we should sign. Also, if we should sell anyone as well. All right. So first youth scouting report um this guy callum walters looks actually pretty decent 1.1 million value we're gonna sign him up um bobby naylor we'll sign you up why not and then we'll let the rest be scouted more all right so callum walters 60 overall 70 to 94 potential um pretty well-rounded physical stats not super quick decent finishing decent heading long shots power he looks more like a striker than a cam really how tall is he he is um, 5'9", so he's not very tall, though. And he does have 76 sprint speed, actually. I didn't see that, so that's not bad. And then Bobby Naylor, um, goalkeeper, 69 to 93. He's not horrible, but he does need some work. I kind of feel like Walters is more of a striker, so I'm going to put him on striker position change, but he doesn't look too bad. So we're getting some offers for John Joe Shelby, but I don't think I want to sell him. He's a player that you guys have to let me know if we should sell or not, because he's not a bad, like, backup midfielder off the bench. So I don't know. So so Nelson is ready to turn into a right winger, still 72 overall. We'll get him on a development plan. So we have offers for Mankio. Don't want to sell a loan offer for Richie, but I don't want to let him go either. And then Sporting have received an offer from PSV for a loan offer for Camacho. Should we send out a loan offer ourselves? I mean, it couldn't hurt. Another winger on the bench. All right. So we sent out a loan offer for Camacho. See if he accepts it. Now, Brandon Williams was linked with Newcastle in real life. It was a loan offer, I think. So I did have an idea of signing him than making him a right back because he's right footed so it makes sense for him to be a right back so i might throw out a loan offer for him as well if we can and they're not so we pretty much have to buy him if we wanted him and he would be 17 to 26 million so that's a decent amount of our money so i'm gonna hold off on that we don't need it right now exactly you guys can let me know what you think about that now we could also try and loan in chowd hurry from lester because i don't think we have one cdm in hayden do we have a backup cdm for him it doesn't seem like it like not really so we could use another cdm so same deal with him we're going to send out a loan offer see what he says to it all right so loan offer sent out we'll see if camacho or child hurry accept all right, so Child Hurry has been loaned in. One year loan from Leicester. I think that is a pretty good loan signing. So now we have a backup CDM in case Hayden gets injured or something. Um, he can replace Shelby on the bench. Not bad. We'll see if Camacho comes in on loan as well. Okay, Juventus have signed Saka from Arsenal for 52 million. Arsenal would never sell him like that. That makes no sense. All right, now Camacho has been loaned in. That's three players, three very decent players. In my other series, we have had trouble with loaning in players but in this one it seems like we were getting some luck so that is just some more backup on the bench i like to see it now if you're wondering about the sharpness of the team it's not perfect because from what i found if you have the sharpness 100 everyone like is plus five attributes it gets a little bit op so i do some of the training some i don't just to basically make it more challenging because this game is way too easy this is what we have to do to try and make it a little bit more challenging but i think that is it for signings from me in this first episode i really want your guys' feedback to spend most of our money so child hurry nelson and camacho have been brought in to on loan some very decent pickups if you ask me but i think it's time for us to start the premier league season all right so first game of the season we're taking on crystal palace at home so i would say this is 
a pretty even matchup on paper, but with these sliders, I have no idea. I have not tested these sliders yet, so I don't know what to expect. I do think this is going to be a challenging season, but that is what we want. The board wants us to finish mid-table, so I think in this episode, we're going to play Crystal Palace and play Everton. And then in the next episode, after I get your guys' transfer suggestions, we can finish the summer transfer window. All right, so this is the starting 11 that we're going out with for the first game of the season, giving Nelson a chance at right mid over Frazier. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect to start this season, so we are just going to jump straight into it and find out. All right, there is us coming out of the team bus. First impression of our first game is manager, pretty much. It's just this team has so much hidden potential to be like a very big side. So first game, we're going to try and see if this can be a start to us unlocking that potential. But with these sliders, I have no idea what to expect. We'll find out. All right, that is a good through ball to start out. Wilfred Zaha coming in on goal. Good challenge. That could have been very, very bad. And it was a very good challenge that ends in us getting a goal kick. You can already see how fast the CPU is with these sliders. But we have some very, very good attacking players that do have. It gives us the ability to try and score some goals. Ball in to Callum Wilson into Miguel Aurmion and it is just that easy we have already scored in our 1-0 up all right this is not what I was expecting it's just a good ball into Callum Wilson plays it into Albiron and he just finishes it all right 13 minutes in 1-0 up I am gonna make these sliders even harder so I'm gonna put marking on like 80 goalkeeper ability on 85 we'll give them like 30 first touch error then sprint speed on 60 acceleration on 55 shot error on 5 pass error on three. I mean, we'll put our pass error on 60 as well. So we'll see if that changes anything. I was not expecting a goal from us within 13 minutes. All right, this does not bode well for the future, but we are just gonna do as best as we can. And we are already in. Nelson on his debut hits the post and that is wide from Almiron. I don't know why this shot from Almiron was so wide. Maybe because it was on his left foot, I guess. But once again, that was a very, very easy, easy chance for us. Yeah, maybe next game I'll try competitor mode on. I have not tried that in a while. We'll try that for next game. All right, Hayden in to Almiron. I mean, this has been a good start for us. A very, very good start. Longstaff in to Almiron. And we lose it. Jordan Ayu plays that to Wilfred Zaha once again. Decent challenge, but still has the ball into Benteke. Or not even ben and it wasn't Benteke. I can't speak. Ball is played into Batshuayi. What am I saying? And they get an equalizer right away. I thought it was Benteke for some reason. But all right, they have equalized. 27th minute. I don't know what we could have done better there. Maybe just mark Batshuayi a little bit better. But all right, 27th minute, 1-1. One, one. All right, LaSalle's into Longstaff. I like this formation though. I do like the creation that we're already having with it. Wilson can try and play that to someone. This is actually worked very well almost to nelson okay yeah this is where it's gonna get a little bit challenging because they're very fast especially with these sliders long staff wins that nelson good first touch in to almiron play that to hayden wilson i think is offside maybe not he is not offside goes for the shot keeper saves it i completely thought he was off there we're gonna swing this corner in callum wilson does not get to that Nelson can try and go for a shot, but he is dispossessed. All right, Longstaff gets that to Almiron into St. Maximum. That was not a good pass. There is our pass error being at 60. All right, one minute of added time. That should be easily back to our keeper. All right, 1-1. One, one. This is how we are going into the second half. So after we change those sliders even more, it seemed like the CPU actually picked it up a little bit. So we'll see how this second half goes. All right, Longstaff with some room to come forward into Callum Wilson. Can't really beat the defender. Go for a shot. That was shocking. All right, Lascelles into Longstaff. Get that to Almiron. And try and play that to Callum Wilson. Somehow that works. Somehow that works. And Callum Wilson puts that in. What was their center back doing? We passed it to Callum Wilson. And their center back was turned the opposite way than the ball. But we will take it. We take the lead in the second half. Yeah, I don't know what their center back is doing. Don't know what they're doing. But we're two one up. We'll see if we can keep this lead this time. Would take an opening day victory any day of the week. All right, Patrick Van Arnholt on this wing into MacArthur. Good challenge, and we can get this ball out. I mean, defense has been pretty decent in this game so far, other than that one goal we conceded. Like I said, this team is not bad. It's really not bad. They just need a coach to really get the most out of them, a new manager, and that is what we are. 
Don't know where that pass went though. All right, so Frazier is on for Nelson. Chowdhury is on for Hayden. And Longstaff is on for Longstaff. Brother for brother, 70th minute. Still holding on to this 2-1 lead. Soon as I say that, MacArthur is in. Good challenge by Shar, And we try to get this ball out and we eventually do. It's a very decent chance for Crystal Palace. Hayden can try and get this to St. Maximum into... Almiron can try and cross that to Wilson. Can't really get it to him. All right, now Christian Benteke is on in to Townsend, playing the ball back and forth with Nathaniel Klein. They're looking decently threatening, but that is a good block from Hayden. Subs are still not on. Benkeo wins that. Still on to Reese Nelson. Shot across goal. That was not across goal. That was over the goal. But now subs are on. Five minutes left. We're holding on to this 2-1 lead. This would be a very good opening day win. All right, Longstaff in to Almiron. And my battery has died. All right, we're back. Chowdhury can try and play that to Calamosa. And that is a very good ball into Ryan Frazier. That could have sailed the three points, but it goes wide. Oh, I thought that was in. I really thought that was going to be 3-1. But two more minutes for an opening day win. All right, they might have one more chance here. Batshuayi try and go for a decent challenge. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. I try read that. I read that. And because of that, we're probably going to come out here with three points. That is full time. So opening day, 2-1 win against Crystal Palace. That is a very good start. Honestly, I was expecting a lot more challenge from the CPU. I think for our next game against Everton, we'll try competitor mode off. Or on, I mean on. We'll see if that makes a difference. All right, so opening day win, Almiron and Wilson scoring. That was a pretty good first game for us. But now we're facing Everton. This is a much bigger test than Crystal Palace. So in their first game, they drew. So they're looking for their first win of this season. All right, so taking a trip to Goodison Park, Everton are a much, much better team than Crystal Palace. So this is a much better test for us. It looks like they've signed Fred from Manchester United, if that's the same Fred. That is a pretty interesting signing. Other than that, it looks like a regular Everton side. So we're going to turn competitor mode on for this one. We'll see if that makes a difference, and we'll see how we do against Everton. So in real life, Everton had a very good start to the season, and they kind of dropped off a bit. So we'll see which Everton side comes out to play against us in this one they have a lot of very good players so this is a very good test for these sliders let's see how this game goes all right let's sell into saint maximum into i think it's long staff no it's not into wilson goes for a shot and that is blocked that was a pretty pretty decent chance for us already oh great steal by isaac hayden almiron into wilson Try to play a one, two. That I saw that. That was gonna be beautiful. But I think Mina got in the way of it, and that is gonna be a foul. No, it's not. That was clean. Alright, I like this ref. I like him. Ball is played into Allen. Don't like this build-up. That is Fred from Manchester United. That's a very interesting signing. But James goes for the shot and keeper does not even move. Alright, that was my fault. I let him get on his left foot. Okay, it's not James Rodriguez, it's Andre Gomez. What am I saying? Why did I think that was James? Okay, that was a very good shot from Andre Gomez. He just gets on the good side of me. On his left foot is he left footed or right footed no matter what that was a very good finish a very very good finish i mean keeper you can at least dive you can you can at least make it look like you try to save that but 14 minutes in we are one nil down so maybe competitor mode on is the way to go from now on all right they are just passing it around me here into james rodriguez this time i got it right this time now into andre gomez into fred back to andre gomez i did not read that pass and richarlison scores everton's second all right i think i could be defending that a lot a lot better this pass into Richarlison I should have got more in front of Richarlison instead of the guy with the ball all right down to nil down to nil this definitely feels like much more of a challenge than Crystal Palace which is what we want so we'll see if we can try and make a comeback in this game Char in to Almiron and get that to Wilson good pass gonna try and get a shot from Longstaff oh Longstaff puts it wide. Oh, that's just barely wide too. That should be in, even though that is a midfielder. It's not very like an attacking player. Still a very, very good chance. Should be 2-1 in this game. Almiron into Wilson. Longstaff is making another good run. I think he's on side. Gonna cross it in. Oh, what was that finish? Is it gonna go in still? Is it gonna no, it's not gonna go in. What? was that how lucky are they not to concede from that okay Longstaff is just all of a sudden playing around their entire defense we're gonna try to get it to him that pass was horrible all right we're having a much better spell here though Nelson into Callum Wilson will wait for a run beautiful run 
Cross in, just can't really get to it. All right, into added time. This is probably the last attack of this half. Ball is crossed in. Shar gets that out. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong though. Um, Allen out on the wing. Once again, are they gonna cross this in? Maybe not. He looks like he just wants to do skill moves. Corner swung in. That is at the goalkeeper. That is the first half. All right, 2-0. We played much better after conceding that second. It should be 2-1. So we'll see if we can try and climb back in this game in the second half. That is a good ball into Allen. This is gonna be a very good chance. Lascelles gets in a very good block though. All right, that was very, very dangerous. Could have gone down 3-0 there. 3-0 is probably too much for us to handle. Wilson can try and play that to St. Maximum. Can't really go for a shot in to Hayden. Wilson. Oh, I could have got it. I tried to get it back to Wilson. Their defense is cutting out those final passes pretty well. All right, now Allen is just sprinting past everyone. Does the skill move Lascelles? Another good challenge. Lascelles is our captain. I am looking for him to be like the anchor of our defense. All right, Richarlison, good block by Lewis. Try to get that back to the keeper. James goes for a shot. I thought the keeper would have the near post covered, but he did not. Uh, I tried to push James towards the near post. I thought the keeper would have this, but he just does not. And that is 3-0 to Everton. Yeah, the keeper has to be doing better in this spot. He just has to get his hand on this at least. It's just right next to him. Just put your hand up a little more. But all right, 3-0 down. Frazier is on for Almiron. St. Maximum is at Cam. All right, 3-0 is a little bit too much for us to come back in this game, I think. We can still try and just improve, get some goals, pretty much just for our confidence. I do see our attacking threat though, I do see it. There's a lot of potential in this team, but this is what we want, this is what we want. I don't wanna lose every game, but I want it to be challenging. So I think these sliders with competitor mode on is the way to go. Andre Gomez goes and makes it 4-0. All right, so 4-0, it is not a good game for us, but this is gonna be a process of getting this team, of improving this team. Good finish by Andre Gomez. Two goals for him in this game. All right, final subs, Longstaff for Longstaff, and then Joe Ellington gets a game up top for Wilson. All right, 4-0. 10 minutes left. So if we could get one goal in this game, that would give us some confidence heading into the next episode. But yeah, Everton are a much, much better team than us. So this is pretty much as expected. Oh, can't make it five though. Calvert Lewin. Keeper makes a save. Oh, Keeper makes a save and it just goes to Fred. And that is 5 0. All right. This was a thumping. I think we just absolutely just turned off after that third goal they scored. So those last two are pretty much just us being turned off on defense. So yeah, a big difference than our opening day win. But this is like a rebuild of this team. So there are going to be some growing pains. I would, I would like it though to stay at five, not go to six. I would like that at least. All right. Kenny is just doing skill moves and the Ref blows the whistle, ends our suffering at 5-0. Man, like that chance in the first half, we could have made it 2-1 and could have really changed the outlook on this game. But we did not put our chances away, and this game ends 5-0 to Everton. All right, so two games played, one game won, and one game lost. Like I said, this series is going to be a lot different than the Barcelona series, even the Tottenham series. This is going to be a challenge. This is what we want. Our attack does not look the worst. There's a lot of potential here, and I need to defend a lot better than I did against Everton with these sliders. So in the next episode, we'll finish finish the transfer window. We have Sheffield, Aston Villa, and then Wolves. So very winnable games. Wolves being the most challenging probably. So I need transfer suggestions. We have 41 million in our transfer budget. It's a decent amount. I don't think I want to make too huge of a signing or signings, but I'll see what you guys think in the comments. Make sure to leave your feedback, transfer suggestions, any type of feedback in the comments down below. So I'm excited for this series. I'm excited for more of a challenge. And this series I think is going to be quite a big challenge. But if you guys are excited for this series as well, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you all have a great day.